In this tutorial we're going to be setting up an endless book object in your Unity scene. So this assumes you've already downloaded the assets from the asset store, the endless book assets, so you should already have that in your project. And you're starting with a blank scene. So the first thing we need to do is go into the book, endless book, book, and prefabs folder and drag the prefab book. This puts the book into your scene at the zero zero coordinates and then you can start modifying it. The book has several sections. It has a book cover, a book page back, and a book page front, and then several pages here. So we're going to be using the demo materials. So if we go in, let's actually use demo 2 for the main book cover, and page back and page front. In this tutorial we're not going to be looking at book page uh, back and page front, just the cover and the pages themselves. Now for the other pages we'll just use Demo 1's page materials. These are just materials, each one is a... Uh, you can set it up to do anything. You can have it as a mobile diffuse, um, you can have special shaders, you can do all kinds of really neat tricks. Um, you could point it to a render texture and have a camera render onto this uh, material and then place that as your page if you wanted to. But in this tutorial we're just going to have a simple diffuse shader with a simple um, page graphic on it. Uh, so these are the materials we're going to be using. So we'll go back to our book here and we'll just start dragging them over. So page one has the page one material, page two has the page two material. Let's add a few more pages here. Let's have eight pages. So we're just going to drag each of these over. Now we have all our pages set. Now in our scene, the game camera is going to be too far away. You can see it's just you can't see anything. So we're going to make sure the position is correct. So let's let's just uh, set some values here. That's a little too high. Um, this field of view, we're going to show. I'm going to show you why we need to change this because it the book is going to look like it's too close to the camera. Um, so let's let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so we've moved our Y axis of the uh, camera down close to the book so we can see it. But you'll see what happens when we start to open it. So now we have our book set up. We're going to set up a controller for it in the scene. So we'll create an empty object. Let's call it uh, controller. Reset the transform. Doesn't really matter. And we're going to create a script for it over here. We'll call this book controller. Go ahead and open this up in Visual Studio. And we want to set a reference to our endless book code. And we want to point to the endless book object. So we're going to create a public inspector variable and variable called book. We don't need the start. We're just going to handle some keystrokes in the update method. So let's say if input get key down key code space. That means if we hit the space bar we're going to open the page. So we'll set set state and we'll just set it to the open middle. Let's go back to our scene, let it compile, go to our controller object and we'll drag this new controller script there. And now where the book inspector um, method member is, we just drag the book to it so it knows which one to control. We hit play. Now when we hit the space bar, it opens the book. And you'll see how when it does that, it looks like it's way too close. We'll have to fix that later in the perspective of the camera. So let's go back to our controller and let's now look at what state we're in currently so we know which one to set. So we'll say if book current state equals closed front. 
then we'll set it to the middle else we'll set the state to close to front save that and we'll go back let it compile play so when we hit space, it, go, it opens, hit space, it closes. So it just toggles between those two states. But as you can see, it looks way too close to the book. So what we're going to do here is in the camera, we're going to set this field of view way down to 10. But you notice now we're really close to the book, so we'll have to raise up the Y. You can see the frustrum is much more narrow, and the camera's up higher. So now when we play it looks a little more natural less distorted so let's go back to our controller and now let's look if input get key down key code let's say um, left arrow and we want to make sure that the book is on the the first group of pages because if we hit left arrow and we're at the beginning we're just going to go into negative numbers we don't want that so we're going to say is first page group and we actually want it to be not first page group so if you're hitting the left arrow key and it's not in the first group it'll turn to the left so we'll do book set page number and we'll get the book current left page number that's the page on the left side of the book uh, minus two and we want to do minus two because it's always the left page um, and you're skipping the right page so you want to go two pages back and we'll just copy this and do it for the right direction so we go get key down right arrow and we'll make sure the book is not in the last page group so we're at the end of the book or we're not at the end of the book we're hitting the right arrow it's going to go forward two pages. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's convert our line innings. Save it. And play. So we open our book with a space bar and then we hit the right arrow key. You can see it's changing the pages and it, if I go to the end I'm hitting the right arrow key it's not doing anything else because we have that check. Now I hit the left arrow key and it goes back. But this just shows the page turning immediately and that's something you might want to do but most people are going to want to actually show the book turning so we're going to comment these out instead of set page number we're going to do turn to page and we're going to turn we're going to do a time per page you can either tell it to turn like a second every page or one second for all the pages it needs to turn or, or whatever you want to do but we're going to do time per page in this one and we'll just make it one second to turn to that page let's copy this comment out the other one and we'll go forward to and same thing one second so we'll save this come back play hit the space bar opens our book, now we'll hit the right arrow key and now it's actually turning the pages and we'll go left and then right and at any point you can hit the space bar and it'll close the book and it'll reopen it back to where you were and that's it, that's a simple tutorial on how to set up your endless book please see the other demos for more in-depth examples of how to do special things like rendering to pages and interacting with a book with a mouse and things like that.